So we all know Steve Jobs for the pioneer that he was and what he meant to Apple. In fact, some of you guys may still be using an iPhone today or one of many other Apple products. We know how successful Steve Jobs was, but what really led to his success? How did he become as rich as he was? Hey guys, welcome back to Entrepreneur Central, and in today's video we will be discussing three ways Steve Jobs was able to become rich. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe to enter this month's shout out giveaway where we shout out one lucky person every month who subscribes and comments I subscribe. So back to the topic at hand, how did Steve Jobs amass the fortune that he had? The first thing that led to Steve Jobs' fortune was the founding of Apple in 1976. Basically, at this point, there was almost a monopoly on computers. Of course, that was until Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak started the company, Apple Computer. The appeal at this point was that their machines were smaller, cheaper, intuitive, and accessible to everyday customers, which in turn led to Apple becoming a publicly traded company by 1980 with a market value of over $1.2 billion. That was clearly something that was needed dramatically by the everyday customer. It was stated by Steve Jobs himself, you can't ask customers what they want and then try to give that to them. By the time you get it built, they'll want something new. So clearly he started off wanting to innovate. Having low cost reliable computers with a different operating system was the first step to doing that. Now let's fast forward a few years. Have you ever owned an iPod at any point in time? Yeah, I have too, and by 2008, Apple became the second biggest music retailer in the US, only trailing the number one US music retailer, Walmart. iTunes was flourishing in pop culture and for 99 cents a song or paying for the album in full, not only was Apple making a little bit of money, but Steve Jobs is definitely the reason for it. Not only was iTunes flourishing, but around the same time, Apple revealed its first iPhone, which changed the world. This was Steve Jobs' baby. Maybe one of his proudest accomplishments because now here we are in 2020 and phones are still trying to emulate an iPhone. The first iPhone creation began because Steve Jobs literally hated someone at Microsoft. Yeah, touchscreen phones were out, Windows phones were out, but most of those phones used the stylus and Steve Jobs really hated the stylus. When the iPhone was being developed, it was so top secret that you couldn't tell your family what you were working on if you worked for Apple and on top of that, departments did not talk to each other. So they didn't really know what another department was doing. But here we are 13 years later, Windows phones are pretty much gone and the iPhones are a prominent part of pop culture. Steve Jobs had Apple thriving and not only that, his pockets were too. Now for Steve Jobs, if he saw value in it, he definitely figured out a way to make it work. In 1986, he purchased Pixar Animation Studios from George Lucas. He literally invested $50 million of his own money into the company. And we all know with hit movies like Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and The Incredibles, Pixar made $4 billion off those alone. So it's safe to say it was well worth the investment to purchase Pixar. But it wasn't until 2006 where he actually sold Pixar to Walt Disney Company where it was said that he was worth over $7 billion. Bonus fact, Steve Jobs did leave Apple in the 80s into the 90s. He did not come back to Apple until 1997. In 1985, he also sold all of his shares of Apple. If he had not done that, by 2006, he would have been worth well over $36 billion. Now these are just three ways that Steve Jobs was able to amass the fortune that he had before he passed. Clearly, if you have an idea that can change the world, go ahead and do it. You never know. You might end up being worth $7 billion. But hey, this has been Entrepreneur Central. Make sure you leave us a like and subscribe if you are new. Until next time.